Hello everybody, this is Robert Henry Reaper, and uh, no, I did not kill this woman sitting uh, lying next to me. She was dead when she I got here, I swear. So, here is my crew. We got Morgan. Morgan. Captain Morgan. We have the Sten a Stern Sten. And we have... Uh, Liliana? I'm gonna go with Liliana. And, uh, don't really know much about her. She's, you know, religious and she wants Morgan. So that's about all I know. Alright, and I, of course, am Thren Dark Cavern. And we're going to Ben. 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 What is with these names? Yes, go. Board. Yes, ga gather party and venture forth. Sally forth. Ooh, animation. The eye. Oh, having a little dwarf nightmares. How oh, cute. Bad dreams, huh? It really seems... It seems so real. Must have been something I ate. Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. Ah. Uh, seems so real. Sure. Well, it is real. Sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark spawn. That's what your dream was. Hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Oh. Okay. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? Yes. Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone? Because they wouldn't believe him. Are these dreams going to happen a lot? Actually, that's a good are these dreams going to happen? It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not frightened. Any other surprises I should know about? You could have told me earlier. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, any other surprises? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Oh, there you were waiting on me? Really? Nobody could wake me. Okay. Hello, Lel. I'm gonna call you Lel. Yes? Hi, Lel. Uh, I'd like to talk, because that seems to be what we're here to do. Well, here I am. Well, yes, yes you are. This vision of yours. Did it involve a giant dragon talking to <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was life like in the Chantry Cloister? What would someone like you be doing in a place like this? Actually, I have no clue what it says after doing it. Cut off by broadcasting. No viewers. Yeah, I have no viewers at the moment. But hey, that's what happens when you don't announce when you're doing your videos. And your videos are being shown at random times. So, that's a uh, boo on me right there. And let's just move on. Yes, this vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. Uh, don't In go any further. There right, was just... an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. So you're going to become 
uh, Venom, and you're going to try to kill us all. Got it. What then? Um, so, it's just a dream. Why well, say it's a vision? You dreamed of the blight? That doesn't mean anything. You dreamed of the blight. I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. I immediately go to the scene in the movie The Messenger when the devil is talking to Joan of Arc and he's like, there are all these different possible ways that this could have happened and you chose this. And the heavenly light shines down as the sword slowly descends towards the ground. Oh, That was horrible. I don't do high-pitched noises very well. Um, I shouldn't try. So that's sort of how I feel about her and her flower. Um, <laughs> that's just wishful thinking, Lil. Uh, Lil. And, uh, this made you want to help me? Uh, did you hear voices? I don't need your maker interfering in my life. Huh. He is beneath me and all dwarves. Literally, he's like, I hear he lives in the ground or something. I don't know. Who are you? Uh, and this made you want to help me, yeah, sure. In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. Damn, Chantry. That ain't right. The blight is the Maker's punishment. And then more words. I suppose I couldn't sit by either. Yeah, I could. Well, no. Eventually I'd have to fight, because it'd be killing me and my sister. So... That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. Uh, Alright, Lel approves. Woo! What is going on here? Y'all about to kiss? This Daryl. Is this Daryl's camp? Morgan. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. I'd like to discuss something with a person now. If you must. How did you... Wait, how did you become a shape changer? I've never seen her change shapes. Did you grow up... Look at the screen doing that little flickering. Um, did you grow up in the wild? Stupid question. Have you ever, ever been hunted by the Chandri? That's a good question. Is she really what she seems to be? Probably not, so Kit Chandri. <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. That was one question. I'm glad you think so. And you are cute when you're evasive. Uh, you don't have to answer if you just answer. Or don't. Yeah. Ah, I did not realize I was being interrogated. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Fun? You found it fun? You really had no trouble with them? I feel sorry for the Templars. Eh, this one. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part. Or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. 
And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Flemeth used you as bait? Did you actually kill them all? Surely more would have followed. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes, eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere, and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Did you regret hurting any of those men at all? What exactly is an apostate? Do you still think it was fun? They got what they deserved. Not sure. Let's see. Don't you regret hurt hunting hurting them? No. Nope. What exactly is that? Maybe. Do you think it's fun? No. Do they got what they deserved? Yeah. You do not know. The zealots use that word for any magic they do not control. The chantry sees any mages not leashed to the circle of magi as apostates and apostates could become maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. Ooh, it shiny. may even be true, still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Meaning what? We'll fight you to the end? Uh, the, we'll fight you to the end? We'll fight to the end? That's a weird sentence. Um, have you no responsibility to those around you? If I were a mage, I think I might think the same. I completely I agree completely. If you say so. Hmm. Don't think I like being a slave, so Yeah. Thank you for small favors then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Sure. Oh, she doesn't like me. Fuck you. You're not on the mission anymore. Huh. Like me. Ah, oh, hey. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service. Once again, I so saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? See? You're free to stay, just mind yourself. Let me see your wares. Have you been following us? What are you selling exactly? Let me see your... I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Discount. Uh... No, I'm not. Can't afford a damn thing. Conscribed foul. Foil. Foil. That's the word. Foil. Nope. Nope. I don't have the strengths. That's not bad, but I don't have the f money. Uh, Morgan, here we are. Nah. There you go, dark cavern. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Increased monetary gain. Oh, I can't not get this. The dwarven merchant belt. What am I wearing? Strengths and armor. Fuck that. 
Give me a dwarven belt. Fire damage. Full damage. Yeah. Healing poultress. Okay, we got six injury kits. I wouldn't hurt to buy more. Can I afford that? Yep. Figure out how to use the last one of these I have. What are these? A manuscript of physical art scribed by a master and rarely seen outside of the most prestigious militias and guilds. Careful study grants the reader access to additional rogue and warrior talents. So, yeah, it gives you a point. Okay. I don't know, don't care. I don't know, don't care. That'll do. Thank you for the belt. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Alright, Sten, do you want a Dwarven Warrior Belt? Or what do you got? Cold Resistance? No, Dwarven Warrior Belt. Oh, you can have both. Sweet. Thank you, Dwarves. Levy tried it. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Who are you? Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy no. of the coins? Levy the trader? No. I'm Thryn. I've never heard of you. Duncan never mentioned you. You know Duncan? Duncan never mentioned really? you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here Dead I am no, carrying up. on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. What promise did he make you? How did you know him? I have pressing matters. What'd you promise? My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. And... Just tell me what I need to know. What happened next? Uh, that would have been drastic. Just tell Duncan me. wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Your family's face will be rewarded. I will help you. Let's go to the peak. Why didn't Duncan help you? How will reclaiming the peak help? Yeah. Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Uh, why didn't he help Darkspawn you? surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Well, I have to think about it. I'll get back to you another day. Hey, Dark. Oh, why you little? What, what? Did you just jump at the sight 
of what? Are you harassing my dog? Me? Harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. There's hardly any blood drawn. Still, he shouldn't have. It's just a warning. He could have taken your hand off. Good boy. Teach that silly Alistair a lesson. Bad dog. That's not very nice. Well, he is a war dog. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yes, it will. He's a good dog. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Stop talking Oh, like my you dog. can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Don't listen to Alistair, he's full of rubbish. If, if you've had it and didn't know, if you had it and didn't know it, it's possible. I'd never feed you another human being, except for Alistair. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Okay, I'm not even going to talk to my dog anymore because Alistair keeps butting the fuck in. Fuck that dude. Hey, hello. Yes. Wait, I already talked to you. Uh, Alice. Seriously, Alistair, you're over here and you keep bothering my dog. What do you need? You need to stop bothering my dog. Ask away. What can a Templar do exactly? Tell me about the Grey Wardens. So, how did you become? Uh, you said this, yeah, it, uh, raised you. Okay, cool. I don't care about that. Tell me Such about Such as they are. Such as, oh, fuck you. Um, where is the nearest Grey Wardens from here? Is there a headquarters somewhere? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfelds, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. Well, good. So what happens now that's just the two of us? Will we need to start rebuilding? What would happen if we just left? We don't know. That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlay, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Uh, okay. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? All right, Stan. Yes. Uh, I am question. hardly surprised. Why did you come here? To answer a question. What was the question? The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. Well, now you have a report. Don't you have a report back then? What is that? Why would they care? Yes. What are you still doing here then? When are you going to do that? Well, I can see you're right on top of that. I cannot go home. Why? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Uh, what were you doing in the cage? I want to discuss something you mentioned. Yeah, As you go. wish. Is that everybody? No treasure, loot, herbs, nothing. Alright, let's uh, go 
get going, I guess. Wasn't Indeed. kidding, get off the group. Oh, I guess I had Uh, you, you. Yes. Camp. So there's looting. A couple of places I can't go. The outskirts. Denarin. Vans. More info. Densely wooded lands provide much of the timber for the Sitting in the shadows of the old Imperial Highway, these docks are now only me the, the only means to reach the tower. What tower? Oh, that tower. A fishing village on the shores of Lake Kalahad. Although the route is more treacherous than Gr Gralan's pass to the north, uh, Sulker's pass can shave more than two days travel off the journey to that place. A uh, range of dra uh, dramatic peaks that stretch across western Ferelden forming a natural bond with... Why would I go there? Ferelden's largest city and the main port and main port it is also the location of the royal palace the edge of the forest and danger the dangers of which are well recorded in local history uh, i guess let's go to the woods why am i going around Take a closer look at the at the all unarmed man, take a closer look at the guards, join the fray, wait for the guards to leave. You are surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kalyan whatever honor guard. A memory comes to you. You follow alongside this man at Ostagar. The guards wear the uniform of Bon Loren. A minor lord, well known and little loved for the fluidity of his alliances. The guards. Oh shit! Come on! What kind of join the fray was that? Enemies approaching! Just stand there. <laughs> Right. 
get up. Good. That was a nice nap. Let's loot. And root. And maybe a little more root. That's the bottom map. Any more loot? Damn it. Here. That's root. Alright, why? Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. We remember him as Elric Marain, a member of Cal's Ke uh, Honor Guard and Ostagar, and a close confidant of the king. Wait, is he alive? Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. Yes. Wait, I have a healer. Tried to help. What do you mean there wasn't time? Well, he ain't dead yet. You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this or die in some dark spawn's belly or, or be hung as a deserter. You deserted? I recognize your face. I'm sure that can be arranged. I fled the battlefield when Logain betrayed us. I abandoned my men, and they died. And Caelan with them. He was my king, my friend, maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. We could be healing and I couldn't right stop now. thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. It's not your fault they died, as long as they didn't suffer long. Or at least they didn't suffer long. I can't wait to here all day. I can't wait here all day listening to you. Something, something. We w don't always get to choose our deaths. I know. Even had Logain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. Hey, you succeeded. Give me the money. I mean, key. Do you still have the key? Is this just important? Why didn't he just give the key to Duncan? I'd say so. It's where Kalen kept his father's sword. The one he always said he'd slay the archdemon with. More than that, there was a secret compartment where he kept documents concerning his dealings with Empress Selene and the Orlesians. I don't know who those people are. Do you still have this key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. Hey, I get to go back and loot the camp. Sweet. Oh, wait, there's Dark Spawn. Do you think I should attempt to retrieve it? If anyone can, it's you, Grey Warden. Ostagar's probably crawling with Darkspawn by now, and... And I'm afraid I would not make the journey. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you and have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot join you. It is vital that the king's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the king's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. Dude, that was the slowest fucking death I've ever seen. This guy had time to draw me a fucking map. <sighs> Why am I mean, literally, she, right here, could heal you. Hell, I could shove a healing potion down your throat. Oh, there we go. I guess it's off to the world map. Ostagar. 
Sure, let's let's go here. Let's let's travel all the way back into the dark spawn woods and probably die. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Ah, it's saving. Dark That's fun. The docks. Oh, if you could not hold it, was it ever yours? Oh, well, we didn't really need your cocky attitude there, sonny boy. Journey ends moments after I got here. Yeah. I see them. Dark spawn. We all see them. As you say. Alright, let's try this again, this time without the dead. Ostagar beneath the dark spawn. If you could not hold it, was it ever yours? Heard. Great. But it takes me to the world map, right? Can't go that way, too many dead. That's fine. Can't go this way, can't get to it. There's a chest, gotta go around. Stop taunting me, Loki. Gotta fight all these guys who kill us. They're both. Shall be done. <laughs>
again. <sighs> Alright, one more try. And then maybe I'll try going somewhere else if they let me. I need more of those. More of the beans ah! ahead. <laughs> Very well. Here's we got. <sighs> Make him be praised. Yeah, I actually could loot something. Fastagar beneath the dark spot. Oh no. If you could not hold it, was it ever yours? Key to the mage's chest. It's probably that prisoner that was in there. Looks to be him. That had to be a bad one. Alright. Try not to die. Fall back, everybody. Fall back. Fall back. Let them come to us. Though, I have a feeling you've already killed them. Yep, you already killed them. <laughs> the King's Grieve. If we wear if we wear them. Strength for it. 
for being a pretty little king who is a strong motherfucker. Yeah, and they are better than mine. How close am I? Next level. What a great silver ring. Alright, let's loot the shop. Damn it. Yes. All right. Hmm. Dark spawn crossbow. Someone's getting an upgrade. damage and all that stuff 
Optimize the dex. I can live with that. And then Liliana. Welcome to the crossbow family. But more. Very well. Damn it. Push them back. Shall be done. A good range in that boat. Shop. Just I could do that for you. You better be able to. I, I finished. That's it, leather boots. That's God. That's all he kept in the chest. He had better things in the crate. Major chest. Uh, healing poultress, injury, spirit, flask, corrupted magister staff. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Enchanter's armor, uh, arming cap, uh, some cowls, a little bit of money. All right, uh, let's take it all. Finished. Yay, I got the loot. Key to the royal arm. Yay, me. Um, they're blocked off over here. They're dead. What's that? No, oh, that's a dark spot. Nobody cares about it. Then the doggies were over here and seem to have gotten out. What's this? Heavy chainmail. Okay. That's blocked. That's the way to the one area. Oh, bye. Just came from there. I shall do it, as you say. Yeah, that looks glitchy as fuck. Quickly, we must fight. Watch everybody as the game glitches. I especially like Sten's uh, action there. And the fight's over. Yay, glitches. Alright, what are you? You're a dead dog? Aw. What manner of beast is this? I shall do it. Some sort of dog. Bladed <laughs> wolves. Guys. The wolves are bladed. <laughs> As you say, very well. Shall be done. It is begun, as you say. 
Shut up and let me shoot. Shall be done. You I can shoot. Let me shot by. No, no, bad dogs. Give my dog a bunch of sick, twisted stuff. Uh, yep, yeah. better. And 
And it's better than nothing. Alright. Um. I did the dog, did the shop, did the mage thing, did the church. Walked up against the wall. Here's the circle of where Duncan was, which is now some sort of weird blocked off area. Again. Yeah, they that's that's what is known as desecrating desecrating a holy spot. Oh yeah, there was that little area over there, which is probably where I'm supposed to go. But I'm gonna want Dark to on it. Sense us. All right, we got it. That's not the item I expected. Could you not have warned me sooner? arrows, a shield, horrifying drop to lead to the death valley. Three kit. 
Blades like that inspire songs that last One for ages. Two of them. Okay, three of them. Good, good, good. Then I should rub the. Yeah, let's not go across the bridge yet. I mean, I am a dwarf. Some of these spots, I don't even need a duck. Hell, I could walk right through there. Oh yeah, let's check here first. Much of a struggle. And is there any spots I haven't? Can't get there. Still can't get it there. Oh, I guess I can. Y'all die. I think I just need to go across the bridge. And that bridge is a bit of a story uh, builder, so I have a distinct feeling that uh, that's where we're going. I'm not gonna have fun memory flashbacks of this guy. I don't even know memories of that. I would never even remember that. I wasn't there for that. You're not, you're not gonna give me the feel for this asshole game, I'm sorry. Damn it all. Well, they're undead. Dark spawn of sense. I expected a uh, auto save at some point. <laughs> this is what you summon to get us. This is what you down to cut down. Ow! What the fuck? Is that all? 
That was a most difficult battle. It was? I mean, I didn't like the explosion, but it was? Alright. You are the saving yet? Already did a cutscene. If you won't save, I will. So, this is where I'm going to end it uh, for the day. You guys uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Even though there was definitely moments that I was just standing, shooting a crossbow at guys that were not moving. Yeah, that's, that's not fun. But hey, not all games are perfect. So far, the story's pretty good. And the, you know, some of the characters I like. Alistair is annoying. Morgane doesn't like me. Or Mor Mori. I'm just gonna call her Mori. But Lel's interesting, and Stern's interesting, and I like my dog, so that's my team. So. I will catch you guys all next week. Sorry if we're getting this on a little later than normal. And tomorrow is fully my intention to start uh, once again doing uh, vlogs. This is mostly for my YouTubers. I, I guess I could possibly live stream a vlog. It's possible. Probable even. So I'll, I'll look into that for tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to try to do that once a week. You know, I'm not going to do daily vlogs because that didn't work out for me. Uh, so. And I'd love to say that I have amazing things to talk about, but I work at Little Caesars. It's, my life isn't too interesting these days. But I still want to. Uh, try to at least do that a little bit and that way I don't talk about personal stuff doing the uh, gaming you know bits I can talk about doing the, the vlog and then I can just play the game so once again I will see you guys later and you have a wonderful night or day or whenever you're watching this Cortana and broadcasting